Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the different defenses that you can run if you're playing three on three basketball. Now some of these are going to be zone defenses. Some are going to be obviously I'm going to show you a man to man defense but also I am going to show you a hybrid defense as well. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so first, player two. Basically, what player two and player three are going to be doing is defending about the free throw line and down. And they're not going to be trying to stay, or they're trying to be staying inside of the three point line. We don't want them to extend outside of that. Next, what we're going to be having is them also guarding up until the center of the key. So their zones are going to be looking just like this. From there, what we're going to be having is player one, he's going to be roughly the free throw line and up to about the three point line and down. Again, we do not want him outside of that three point line. From there, if there's a ball in this location, what we want, or these locations, what we want is for, for here, three and one to come together for a double team, and over here, two and one to come together for a double team. In the middle, unless there's players who are cutting baseline, we want to also have player two and three come together for a double team as well. So if we had some players on the court, what it's going to look like is like this. It's going to look very similar to like a man-to-man -man type defense. Now if player one passes over to three, and let's say he cuts towards the low post, we're going to have player one following him down until the free throw line. Player 2 is going to be moving over covering the middle and we're going to be having player 3 not necessarily right up on player 3 but contesting at maybe a foot within the 3 point line. Basically what's going to happen here is now if player 1 gets that ball the weakness here is player 2 cutting back door. So what we need to do here is have player 2 not right up on player one but take maybe a foot away and allow that floater instead of a layup from player two and have player three pop back down now of course we're still risking a three-point shot from player three but when you're playing three on three basketball unless you're playing again against a really good team what you're really trying to do is allow them to shoot three-point shots because those are a lower percentage majority of the time what the 1-2 triangle zone defense does for 3-on-3 three -three basketball is to cut off a lot of stuff, a lot of baskets inside the key. So in this next defense, what we're going to be having is a 1-1 one -one zone. And what we're going to be having is player 1 playing against and defending the other team's best player. So if in this case we have player 1 defending player 1, we have player 3 defending the high post as well as player two defending the low post actually considering three is usually bigger we can put him in the low post so that's what it's going to look like now these players they are not going to be playing outside of the three-point line they're staying halfway in between the key up to the free throw line maybe a foot past it and back down we want to leave these long range shots open because they are a lower percentage so if, for example, we have player one passing over to player two, we will have player two pop out. Player three is going to be covering the back. Now, even if player two moves down, player two is going to move with him. The reason for this is, let's say player two blue was to drive. All we're going to be doing is having player three pop down and cut off that drive at the baseline. Now we have a trap down here, and we have player three who may be wide open who's cutting down, but there's a reason why we have player three cutting down and not player one. Here, wherever player one goes, player one red is going with him. So if we have player three cutting down and he makes that pass, we can have player three pop out or player two to continue out and defend that pass across the key. Or even if they were to do a baseline floater down low and they were to kick the ball out, that's totally fine because now player three can go and recover. And again, we're not guarding out on the three-point line anyways. 
Okay, so this next zone defense is going to be the 2-1. So we'll have player 1 and 2 sort of cutting off the top and for forcing player 1 to go in one of the directions. Now, if player 1 was to go in that direction, pass over to player 3. Player 2 is going to go over and defend. Player 1 is going to be cutting off the high post pass. And player 3 is cutting off the key. Now, if player 2 is to come across, pass down, these players are still in the same location. If player 1 was to move over, player 1 would red would just move over just a bit. Now if player 3 moved down, basically their zones are going to look like this, where we have player 3 guarding out here, we have player 2 guarding this zone, and player 1 guarding this zone. That's basically how it looks. So if we did have player 2 who's out in that low post, we would also have player 2 red move down in between those two players, just like so. Now, if they were to pass out, player 2 would be right on him, player 3 would still be defending, and player 1 would still be cutting off that pass. So, this will allow you to defend the three-point line a bit better. Now again, you can also run man-to-man -man defense, which is going to look like this. So, a lot of the times, you're going to be playing man-to-man -man defense. Of course, we have man on, we have player two in help position, which is one large step away, and then we have player three still within one step of player three blue, but he's still cutting off a pass in case player two was to cut back door. And then from there, if we were to pass down to player 3, player 2 would then move down, player 1 would move down a step. Again, same idea as man-to-man -man defense where you would have players in help defense mode. If we had player 3 out on the perimeter, we would have player 3 still on, player 1 one pass away, or one step away, and player 2 roughly 2 to 3 steps away just like in regular 5-on-5 five -five basketball and help defense. Now I hope that these defenses help you in your next 3-on-3 three -three basketball game. If they do, let us know in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you and I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.